guys, welcome back to 365 Days of SEO. This is Christian Bullock. Today we're talking about a technical SEO topic. And this one's kind of a no-brainer, but you see a lot of websites doing it. And that's it. If you're using a Google Analytics you know, package to track website visitors, etc., or maybe you're using Omniter or some other analytics package, you need to ensure that a code is on every single page of your website. And the reason is, you know, if someone's on your website, and they go to another, another page that doesn't have the code on it, you know, your analytics package is going to report that as being either a bounce, if it's like an initial page and then leaving, or if someone's browsing around and clicking on a page without the code, that's going to be sort of an exit percent, right? So in terms of looking at the actual, when they come there to when they end, you're going to get a sort of a premature exit rate based on that. Also, if someone clicks on, you know, a page that has your code, a page that doesn't have a code, and then a page that has your code again, it's going to be counting as two visits. And search engines don't really know where how to classify that referral. So you might, it might actually go into the direct bucket. It might be a referral of your own domain name, which is just funky and weird. So really, when it comes to Google Analytics or I'm not sure whatever analytics tracking package that you may be using, you got to have that code on every single page. And pages that uh, clients at least I work with and other websites that I've had some experience with tend to forget are the thank you pages, which are the most important pages to be able to track, right? So if a form submission, you know, goes from slash form to slash thank you, forgetting to have analytics tracking on those pages, no bueno, no bueno at all. My name is Christian Bullock, 365 days of SEO.com. See you guys tomorrow.